Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. Amid escalating tensions in Europe, the Russian Ministry of Defense, led by Sergei Shoigu, announced the reinforcement of the newly formed Kaliningrad Military District. The strategic move includes the establishment of a separate missile brigade equipped with Iskander-M systems in Karelia, along with the transfer of the 11th Army Corps from the Kaliningrad region and the 14th Army Corps from the Murmansk region to the district. This development is widely perceived as a strategic response to Finland's recent NATO membership, aimed at fortifying Russia's northwest borders. The Kaliningrad military district, a division of the Russian armed forces, has a storied history. Originally formed in 2010 as part of the Western Military District, it was subsequently merged with the Moscow Military District, the Northern Fleet, and the Baltic Fleet. However, in response to evolving security challenges, Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu proposed its reinstatement in December 2022, a decision ratified in June 2023 by Deputy Chief of Staff Eugene Burdinsky. The formal re-establishment of the Kaliningrad Military District was announced by President Vladimir Putin on December 17, 2023, and duly enacted through a presidential decree on February 26, 2024. Central to the military reinforcement in Karelia is the deployment of the Iskander-M tactical missile system, a cornerstone of Russia's air defense strategy along its western border. This formidable system, also deployed in regions like Murmansk and Arkhangelsk, comprises a self-propelled launching unit capable of speeds up to 70 km per hour on roads. Mounted on an MZKT-7930 chassis, each unit can carry two missiles with a firing range of up to 500 km. With a total mass of 42 tons, the Iskander-M system boasts remarkable mobility and operational flexibility, supported by a three-person operational team per launching unit. The Iskander-M, known by its NATO reporting name SS-26 Stone, represents a pinnacle of Russian military technology. Capable of achieving terminal hypersonic speeds ranging from Mach 6 to 7, and altitudes of 50 km, it covers distances of up to 500 km, developed to supplant the OTR-21 Tochka systems, the Iskander-M embodies Russia's commitment to modernizing its arsenal to meet contemporary security challenges. A typical Iskander-M battery comprises four transporter erector launchers, TELS, 9P78-1, four loaders 9T250-1, and two command and control vehicles 9C552, ensuring seamless coordination and rapid response in various operational scenarios. Equipped with multiple conventional warhead options, including cluster munitions, fuel air explosive enhanced blast warheads, and high explosive fragmentation warheads, the Iskander M offers versatility in targeting a wide range of objectives. The Iskander MS operational capabilities are further enhanced by its advanced guidance systems, allowing for precise targeting of both stationary and moving targets. Utilizing satellite imagery, aircraft surveillance, and conventional intelligence centers, the system can swiftly retarget missiles during flight to engage dynamic threats. Its onboard computer receives target images and employs optical homing heads to guide the missile toward its intended objective, all while executing evasive maneuvers to evade interception. With its exceptional speed, range, and precision, the Iskander M is ideally suited for tactical level conflicts, capable of neutralizing a myriad of targets, including hostile artillery, air defenses, command centers, and troop concentrations. Furthermore, its potential integration with cruise missiles like the R-500 further extends its reach and lethality, underscoring Russia's commitment to maintaining a robust defense posture along its western borders. As tensions persist in the region, the reinforcement of the Kaliningrad military district with Iskander-M missile systems represents a strategic imperative for Russia, reaffirming its resolve to safeguard its territorial integrity and national security interests amidst a rapidly evolving geopolitical landscape. That's all for now, see you later.